Today we will discuss few questions on Mendel's crosses. The first question, Mendel crossed plants that bred true for yellow seeds with plants that bred uh, true for green seeds. All seeds in F1 generation were yellow. Work out the inheritance involved in this cross by using symbols for the trait. Which trait was dominant? Now, first we have to go through the question very carefully. So, what is given in the question? The, uh, the points that are given in the question are character selected or character used is seed color. The traits are yellow and green. Also, it is mentioned that they are pure, that they breed true. Okay, they are pure lines here. There is no mixture. This, so, that means they are homozygous for yellow. They are homozygous for green. Then, second condition given is the seeds in F1 generation were yellow. Now, it is known to us that in F1 generation, whatever is expressed, that will always be the dominant trait. Okay, that will always be the dominant trait. So, we can easily make out that yellow is dominant over green. Now, we have to carry out the cross. Now, the parents, we start in this manner. Parents, the phenotypes are yellow seed, green seed. Genotypes, yellow will be represented as capital Y, capital Y. Because already we have seen that yellow is dominant over green. Then green seed is small y, small y. We represent it being recessive. Now the gametes, the gametes that will be formed out of the yellow will be capital Y, capital Y. As it is homozygous. Similarly, the green seed will be small y, small y. Now, the F1 generation, okay, the F1 generation will be represented as uh, one gamut from the yellow and one gamut from the green. They will come together to form a combination, capital Y, small y, which is heterozygous. And it's already mentioned again, I repeat, mentioned that the F1 generation, yellow seeds are produced. So, heterozygous condition is producing yellow seeds. So finally we come, the dominant trait is yellow seed color because it is expressed in F1 generation. Why is it yellow? Because it is, ex it is the one that is expressed in the F1 generation. The other trait, green seed color is recessive as it is not expressed in F1 though the genotype is heterozygous. So, which is dominant? Dominant is the one, dominant factor is the one which expresses itself not allowing or suppressing or masking the expression of the other factor. The one which is getting suppressed will be called as recessive. The one which is expressing is called as, yeah, is called as dominant. Here, yellow is dominant over green. Okay, so and dominance and recessive of uh, the condition can be evident or can be clearly observed only in heterozygous condition. Now we come to the second question. A cross is made between different homozygous pea plants for contrasting flower positions. This time the character selected is flower position. Find out the position of flowers in F1 generation on the basis of genotypes. Work out the cross after F2 generation. Now, solution. We know that the contrasting traits for flower position in pea plants are axial and terminal. It is already known to us that the character flower position has two traits, axial and terminal. Where axial is dominant over terminal. It, these seven characters and the traits, we should be knowing it, okay, by, we should be knowing it, it should be known to us, okay, these are already stated. Axial position will be seen in F1 generation as only dominant traits are expressed in F1, because here you can see the first question is given, find out the position of flowers in F1 generation on the basis of genotypes. So, axial position will be seen in F1 generation as we already know the dominant characters are seen in F1. As only dominant traits are expressed in F1 involving cross between contrasting traits of homozygous condition like the previous question. Now, we will go to the second part of the question. Working out the parents axial position, 
terminal position. Genotypes as they are homozygous, so we write as capital A, capital A, and the terminal, it being the recessive, we write as small a, small a. The gametes, they are homozygous, so A, capital A, here, small a. They come together in F1 generation in a heterozygous condition, but as axial is dominant, so what happens? We see the phenotype as axial. Now the gametes of F1, capital A, small a. The, we carry out the cross with the help of a Punnett square. This is called a Punnett square. What is done here is we draw a box. Okay, accordingly we write the gametes, the type of gametes here. Capital A, small a is uh, the gamete from one plant. Similar, another plant will be crossing or when we allow it for selfing also, it's within the same plant. So other possible gametes are again the same ones, capital A, small a. Now, first we write these two. Okay, then we go to write, we go to solve. Okay, capital A, capital A, capital A will give us this combination a a capital a small a comes here this is the box where we will write then we will write in this box the fusion between this small a and the, and the capital a on the other side and the fourth box will be the fusion product of the factor present here and the factor present at the other end. So the these four individuals that we have written genotypes, these are the offsprings. Now the results. Axial. Okay, or if you do not cannot do it directly, then you can always first write down A A. A capital A capital A will be axial. We have already written axial. Capital A is small a as seen in F1. Again, it is heterozygous axial, axial. So, A, A, capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, capital A, small a, all of them are axial conditions. These are the genotypes and the phenotypes for all of these are axial. How many number? Three. The terminal, only one, A, A, because recessive features will always be expressed only and only in homozygous condition so here small a small a only one so here it is one so ultimately the ratio f2 these are the f2 plants these are four out of the f2 plants what is the ratio for every out of four plants three will be axial and one will be terminal so the ratio comes out to be three is to one now the third question in a garden p Smooth seed coat is dominant over wrinkled seed coat. What will be the expected ratio of phenotypes of the offsprings in a cross between? Now here this question is slightly different way placed. We are coming to the different varieties now. Here we are not talking of only homozygous condition. Here the condition given is smooth seed coat is dominant over wrinkled seed coat. Smooth seed cover okay is dominant over wrinkled now you have to carry out three types of crosses heterozygous smooth cross heterozygous smooth so here i'll go to the solutions first before going into the solutions let us see what are the conditions given given smooth seed coat is dominant over wrinkled seed coat it's given okay so smooth we can write capital alphabet and wrinkled we can write small alphabet small letter so a capital s will represent smooth small s will represent wrinkled now the first question the cross is between heterozygous smooth and heterozygous smooth same so the parents heterozygous smooth the genotype will be heterozygous so capital s small s smooth why smooth? Because here we can see the dominant uh, factor is present. Same, both of them. So we write it in the same manner. These are the genotypes. Gametes will be capital S, small s, capital S, small s. Now coming to F1 here. This also we can do with a Punnett square. Here we write the two factors here. Capital, or the gametes, capital S, small s. These two we write here, capital S, small s. Now, they combine in this manner, similar to the previous question. 
so they go on combining these are the new four offsprings out of these four offsprings you can see this will be smooth because here we have see the dominant allele present dominant factor present here also is the presence of dominant factor so this also has to be smooth even the third one has to be smooth but the fourth one there is no presence of the factor for smooth that is capital S so this will definitely be wrinkled so we get smooth 3 wrinkled 1 the ratio comes 3 is to 1 now the next question okay it is heterozygous smooth cross homozygous wrinkled parents are heterozygous smooth homozygous wrinkled heterozygous smooth smooth means there will be presence of one dominant factor capital s heterozygous so definitely the other allele is also or other factor is also present homozygous wrinkled homozygous wrinkled homozygous means same factors present and wrinkled wrinkled is represented by small s small s gametes so here the, the because this is a heterozygous condition two types of gametes homozygous so only one type of gamete similar manner similar to the previous questions okay like we prepared a punnett square here capital s small s the gametes here these gametes we write the other side and then we get the four offsprings out of these four offsprings we can see where is the presence of the dominant allele one two here it is not present so smooth we get only two here we can see both of these two are homozygous condition wrinkled so we get two wrinkled so the ratio it comes to two is to two or one is to one same thing you can write two is to two or one is to one it means the same the third question homozygous sorry heterozygous smooth cross homozygous smooth so heterozygous smooth smooth so definitely dominant allele will be present but as it is heterozygous so he will get here one small s that is the allele for factor for wrinkled is also present homozygous smooth homozygous smooth smooth means uh, the factor for dominant that is smooth is present and homozygous so similar factors we get two types of gametes from this first parent the different types of gametes from the first parent similar type of gametes from the second parent similarly we write again the first parent we write here second parent we write here and we get these four offsprings now in all the four offsprings you can observe that there is presence of the dominant allele so it shows that all of them will ultimately uh, show the phenotype to be smooth so here you can see smooth four offsprings wrinkled zero so the ratio you can write all smooth or also it can be written as four is to zero okay so all will come out to be smooth